guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky and today we're going to be testing out a couple of new products from Sephora, namely the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Glow Bronzer and the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. And we'll be revisiting good old Gemini palette since this is back and on the market once again. So we're going to play with that, do some nice glowy soft skin, very no makeup makeup on the skin, if you will, and a little bit of something on the eyes and a pretty nudie brown lip as usual. So you have that interest you and you want to hear my thoughts, first impressions on the bronzer and tinted moisturizer. Just go ahead and keep on watching and yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this makeup. Do this nice little soft look for every day, soft, super soft everyday glam. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Good morning. So I thought today we would play with some new stuff, mostly from Sephora, and do a summer look. Kind of a summer casual look, but not a full-on no makeup makeup, but just a soft look. Something that I would wear day to day. So yeah, we're going to get into today, but I do have some new things I want to test out. Uh, first, I have the new Rare Beauty what are we called? Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with Broadband Spectrum SPF 20 that we're gonna try out today. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. And I also have the new bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer Science and Color. I have this in the shade Medium because they were out of the shade Light and I wanted to try it. <laughs> and the light one looks a lot like shades I already have in my collection. This one looked a little bit different. Depth wise, it doesn't seem super duper deep. And I think with light hand, it's gonna look really nice, especially with a little self tan on like I have today. But yeah, this is a cream bronzer. Look at how beautiful this is. If I can show this to you without too much glare. It is so pretty in the pan. And this is a nice kind of warmish red tone, very like a true bronzer for me. But this is a really interesting cream. It feels almost stiff, kind of powder-like, but very blendable. Yeah, it's a very powdery cream. You know what it's very, very similar to in texture is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, to be honest with you. Very similar formula, I feel like, except this obviously has like some skincare benefits and lots of things going on. So let me... So yeah, this is supposed to hydrate the skin, appear smoother. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of claims, of course, because everything for Charlotte Tilbury has a million claims. But we will talk about this in a moment when we get around to doing bronzer. Um, we also have a new mascara here from Giorgio Armani. This is the Eyes to Kill mascara. So we're going to give that a go. And I also have a new lippy from Milani. This is Tease from there lip fetish line. I've been things mostly high end today, which is not something I've been doing lately, but I'm I'm in the mood. I've got some new stuff from Sephora, so yeah. The bronzer and tinted moisturizer were provided to me from Sephora for a Instagram story and post, but I'm like, I'm gonna do a video with them and use them and show you guys and talk all about them because yeah, they're new. <laughs> but yeah, they were provided to me from Sephora, but this video is not part of that content. That All I have to do for that is literally just, uh, I think, post a, a picture on Instagram for it. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start with the skin. I've put a light layer of NYX Marshmallow Primer on, and I've also done my usual skincare today. And I have put on a bit of the lighthearted SPF from Sunday Riley underneath. This does have SPF 20 in it, but I don't consider the SPF within foundation to be my SPF for the day. That is just an added little bonus. I don't rely on my foundation for my SPF. I put on a separate SPF every day. So yeah. Anyways, this is in the shade... 12C, which is one of the lighter shades. Might be the lightest, I'm not quite sure. But I do have a little bit of self tan on, but since this is a pretty sheer product, I think we'll be okay. And I'm gonna warm it up with the bronzer. And I'm going to apply this with a brush. But yeah, this is the packaging. It has this cute like little nook right here, which makes it really easy to open and grip, which I really appreciate. I do appreciate that about like the Rare Beauty products. And I don't know if it's true or not, that this stuff was designed to, um, 
be good for people with arthritis and like hand problems. But if it was, I truly appreciate that. And even if it wasn't, the design is quite intuitive for people with a lot of arthritis issues because my hands hurt and something like this is very convenient. So yeah, very easy to open. It's a squeezy tube and it's very, feels quite easy to squeeze. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand here. Yeah, very easy to squeeze out. We'll start with about this much and see how it goes. And I'm gonna apply this with a foundation brush. We'll use a e.l.f. one, which is my favorite. This is a buffing foundation. Let's see how it goes. So what kind of glow this has. This is supposed to have like a illumination to it, I believe, positive light. So sounds like that's what it should mean. I'll put the info on the screen about it. Okay, yeah, shades a little light, but we'll uh, work it into the skin and we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be okay. Blend it in with the bronzer and everything. That does look quite pretty on the skin. I do see a bit of a glow. Very light coverage so far that I'm noticing. But it's pretty. Yeah, this does look quite pretty on the skin, but it is a pretty light coverage. Um, you could probably build it. We'll see. My skin's in a really good place right now, so I'm not like... Uh, super worried about having like heavy coverage. So this is kind of perfect for what I'm looking for at the moment. As far as my makeup goes, my skin products, my complexion products. But this is really pretty. Yeah, that is quite pretty. Let's see. Let's look close in the mirror. It looks a lot like the number seven Restore and Renew. That's what this looks Almost uncanny. Like the coverage level, the finish on the skin, very similar appearance. But I like it. It's nice. It's quite nice. The shade's really nice. I think they do have a decent shade range as well. I'm gonna see how buildable this can be. I'm gonna take just another little pump here and stick to the center of the face. Yeah, quite kind of buildable. Like it definitely took down the redness, but I can still see, you know, imperfections through it but the redness is knocked down a little bit but yeah this is a sheer product I don't think you're gonna get like a full medium out of it this is definitely light coverage it just evens out the skin nicely but yeah I like it I'm really into more lighter coverage these days I really into lighter coverage products these days which I used to not quite be so into but I like this I think this is very pretty, very easy. I think it's a little glowier than the Restore Renew for number seven. Like this definitely has an illumination to it, but it looks good. I think it's pretty. Yeah, I really like the way this looks on my skin. This is a very much a easy, no makeup type of product. A light coverage, but it evens everything out. I don't know how this is gonna wear, but I feel like it should wear really well. It still feels tacky on the skin, like it's not setting down or anything. Like that's a very much true like tinted moisturizer feel. But very pretty, very glowy. I like I like it so far. This is definitely gonna be something that's a great everyday product to me. And something that I would be inclined to reach for. Alright, while we're messing around with skin here, I'm gonna take a little bit of flawless filter just for some added glow right here. Because why not? I'm into some glowy, glowy skin right now. So we're gonna glow. Okay, so I don't have like a high-end concealer to use. I, I don't know, I haven't bought a high-end concealer in quite some time. It's just not something I really ever find a need to do. Like drugstore kills a concealer. So we're gonna stick to the drugstore for that. I'm gonna use my number seven Lift and Illuminate, because this one is just a really beautiful concealer. Very nice wear time. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the eye here to brighten that up. Get rid of any of that little bit of purple I have under there. And a little bit on the chin and forehead, where I just want a little more coverage, which is usually just the center of the face. Yeah, I'm definitely going for some nice light skin today. So I just think it looks pretty to uh, have very... No makeup makeup on the face right now. I just feel like it's really chic. That looking like you don't have foundation on, you just have a really good skin look. 
It's just, it's something I'm really into right now. That looks really nice with the concealer. Add it in for some coverage under the eye. Make sure my jaw has got some good coverage on it because that does tend to look a little red on me. Okay, pretty. I'm going to set my under eye real quick with a touch of By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. I'm going to take that on just a little brush here. We're just going to focus this on the center of the face in the under eye around the brow. Just anywhere that I tend to get oily. And this is such a, this is a very mattifying powder initially, but then it just kind of sinks into the skin in the best way and looks so skin-like, so perfecting. It is one of my favorite, favorite powders. And honestly, I'm blanking on if you can get it at Sephora. I feel like you can. Just a very minimal amount. Is this really all you need of that? Again, I want the skin to look very light and glowy and just set where it needs to be set, but not all over. Okay, let's go in with this bronzer here from Charlotte Tilbury. And the claims on here is that it boosts hydration by 136% in one hour. And skin appears smoother by 42%. Oh, you know Charlotte and her, her Charlotte Tilbury math. So, yeah, oh, there's a lot of the methicone, polymers in here. This is basically primer, <laughs> like face primer. Wow. Uh, lightly buff onto the skin, blend over with the beautiful skin bronzing brush. I did not get the brush for an all over sun kiss glow. Okay. It says hyaluronic acid and vitamin D. And I have the shade 2 medium. So, yeah. For a beautiful, healthy looking, beachy, bronzed glow every day. Very nice. I kind of, um, I like the way the compact looks. It's very large and in charge. I feel like you're getting a good bit of product here. Let's see. It says how much product you're getting. 21 grams. That, that feels like a lot. I don't know. Math. But yeah, it just looks so pretty <laughs> in the pan, but I'm, I'm going to look up the ingredients on the putty bronzer. I think we might have to do a smackdown between the two. But anyway, yeah, this is a really nice warm color and I think it will do just fine for today. So I'm going to take this on a, oh yeah, we got an ultimate blending brush here from e.l.f. we'll use. And I'm just going to kind of tap into here. Like it's pretty firm, like see how it's not like disturbing the pattern too much? Like this is not, you're not picking up a ton of product. It's very stiff. And yeah, I think that makes it a lot more user friendly. Okay, so let's give this a go. I'm going to kind of make sure I don't have too much. I'm going to tap a little bit off. I'm going to take it right where I would usually apply my bronzer. Oh, that's a pretty tone. That goes with my self tan like really well, I think. That's a nice, yeah, that's a nice shade. I'm going to apply it a little bit more broadly just to warm the skin up because the foundation is a bit light for me today, which I'm pretty sure you can tell that my chest is a bit deeper. Yeah, this has like a matte finish to it. Yeah, it looks really pretty on the skin. I do kind of want the other shades, or the lighter shade too. That looks really nice. Okay, so you're seeing how the medium shade looks on ghostly skin, and I think it looks really good with a light hand. Like, I'm just tapping in, taking it, and then tapping on the back of my hand, which is how I apply all bronzers. And I think it's still looking really nice. I'm going to take a little bit right around the jaw and down the neck a bit. I'm impressed at, like, the pan embossing, how well it's staying for a cream product. Like this is like a cream hybrid. This is definitely a more of a putty product. I said like putty doesn't sound nice, does it? I kind of hate that descriptor. Like it just sounds gross <laughs> to me. But this does blend very well. It has a very skin-like tone to it, very natural shade that I think works on a multitude of skin tones. It's definitely a color that appears naturally in one skin. I feel like sometimes bronzers can look so unnatural. Like, 
cheaper ones and especially older like I don't know the newer ones the tones are so much more nuanced and feel like they belong on the skin whereas back in the day to me some of these bronzers that used to be on the market looked so unnatural and just looked odd I feel like the newer ones are just beautiful on the skin. Look, that looks like a natural tan on my forehead. So I'm taking a little bit more in a traditional bronzing kind of a placement instead of a sculpting placement. Yeah, that's quite nice. Very nice. I like it. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit kind of uh, through the socket area just a bit to see how that looks like right in here Ooh, yeah you could definitely use this for some one and done look very nice that looks really nice in the crease like that built up this is a, a good good shade i'm surprised <laughs> how much i like it I was just so wanting to try the formula so bad. And after looking at like swatches and seeing other people use it, I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely could make that shade work on me. But yeah, it's very nice. Very easy to work with as well. I mean, this buffs into the skin so easily. I was like, Charlotte really does do the best when it comes to like cheek products and like face products. That's where she, to me, shines. I am waiting for that hi new highlighter to come back in stock. I don't know if it is. I want it so bad. I'm patiently waiting. I got the email notification set up. I'm taking my foundation brush and just tapping over. Make sure everything's looking cohesive. But yeah, I think that looks really nice. I like the mirror in here as well. And my skin does look very smooth. Yeah, that, that's a really good formula. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of eyeshadow while we're at it. And we're going to jump over to Gemini. And I'm just going to do a little definition and some deepening around the lash line. Nothing crazy. So I'm going to take the shade Luna, which is this first shade right here. And we're going to bring that through the transition increase i have the original gemini by the way but it was a really nice excuse to bring it back out and i'm just taking that right through there for some definition and yeah i have bronze all over my hands let's take just a touch teensy touch of polka dot which is this shade right here i mean just a tiny bit on a little domed brush and I'm gonna take that just right out here on the outer corner and pat that in. Just a little bit of depth right out there. And I'm gonna blend with my larger brush. Okay, I'm repeat that on the other side. All right, and we do a little bit of liner right at the lash line. We use Urban Decay 24 seven liner and demolition. I just keep this right at the lashes in this outer corner. Like so. And then we take a little smudgy brush and soften that just a bit. And just gives a little lift to the outer corner. And on that same little smudge brush, I'm gonna dip into Cupcake, which is the darkest brown. It's a little teeny tiny bit, really tapping the brush off. And I'm gonna just pat that over top. Being pretty careful not to get any fallout. All right, and that just gives a little bit of a lift to the outer corner without doing like an actual wing or anything. It's very soft. And on the kind of blank part, I'm take a little bit more of Luna and just run that in there. Okay, and we repeat that on the other side. Right, and on the lower lash line, I'm gonna clean off this little smudge brush. I'm not gonna put any eyeliner. I'm gonna put just a little bit of polka dot. I'm just gonna run that right under here. Just a little bit of definition on the lower lash line, but nothing 
too much. I just like a little shadow under there because it makes my eyes look a bit bigger than they are. And take a little bit of polka dot and just tuck it right there. Right, so I'm gonna touch my brows up while it's at it. Now let's do a little bit of blush and highlight and some fun. And we're gonna go nude gasm just because this is the palette of my summer right here. I'm in love with this palette. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the super sculpt shade from this and just kind of focus it right where I want a little more shape and structure and let that kind of flow into the bronze. So I feel like these tones would play well together. I'm keeping this one pretty focused right in the more contour area. I'm gonna take just the regular sculpt in this palette and bring that around just to bring in a little bit of shadowiness. All right, take a little bit down the nose. All right, and I'm gonna take the super, what is this called? Multi glow shade. I'm gonna use that kind of as a blush today. All right, and we'll take the, what is it called? Super Glow now, and the higher points. I'm gonna take a smaller brush with this, just so it doesn't get everywhere. All right, and I'm gonna take a little bit of Super Glow on this little dome brush. I'm gonna take it right here on the lid. Just get a little bit of a shine in there. That just gives a little bit of a glow to the eyes. And I'm going to hit the brow bone with this as well. Okay, and let's check out this mascara real quick. This is the Eyes to Kill from Giorgio Armani. This was a little, I think this is a point perk. Or free, I got it somehow free, okay. Anyway. Uh, let's curl lashes really quickly. And pop a little bit of this on. Okay, we got a traditional, really generic looking wand here. Applicator. Let's see how it does. Right, that's one coat. All right, let's see how it layers up. You know, it's okay. Like, it's definitely not eyes to kill. <laughs> you know, it's um, very generic. This is a very generic mascara. You could definitely Skip this one. You don't need it. You could get this at the drugstore. You can get Lash Princess and get the same results, if not better. So yeah, don't don't waste your time with this one. If it's free, that's cool, but I wouldn't go out my way to purchase this one at all. Definitely not that impressive. Uh, it's, it's okay, but I've by far used better mascaras than this. I think if you're gonna buy something from Armani you might as well go for like one of their hero products. I think it's what their luminous silk foundation, something like that. I would much prefer to shell out cash for over a mascara. And let's go ahead and just move on to lips. Now I'm gonna take ABH lip liner in cool brown, which is not cool brown at all. It is a warm brown, if anything. I don't know where they get to calling it cool brown from, but Sure, sure, Jan. It's definitely a caramelly warm chocolate brown. To me, it's not cool toned. There's a yellow in it that makes it warm. To me, a cool brown is gonna be something with a bit more taupe in it. But again, that that's, I don't know how I see it. To me, that's, that's a warm brown, but whatever. Why am I being so nitpicky about that? 
Let's go ahead and line the lips with this. And we're gonna blend that. I mean, that's a warm brown, all right? <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a little bit of the Milani Lipstick and Tease, which is a kind of a warm, nudie peach. Mmm, very nice. I like the way that looks. All right, I'm gonna fix my hair real quick and we'll be back for the final thoughts. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, and we're back. I just threw on some jewelry and fixed my hair a little bit, very little bit. This is pretty much how my hair air dried, so cool. I think it'll do. <laughs> I want to do some little finishing touches here. I feel like the eyes could use a little more fun. So let's jump back over to Gemini really, really quickly and with a light little hand. I'm going to get back with this little dome brush and some more polka dot. I just like that as like a bit, I don't know, boring. I feel like we could do a little bit more fun. Sometimes after I get my mascara on, I think, hmm, I could use a little more eyeshadow or something. There we go. I think that looks a little better. Just want a little more definition around the eye. Just a little more oomph right out there. That's better. Yep. I'm going to take a kind of a larger brush like this. Make sure it's no product on. I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzer now from Charlotte. Just a little last minute to warm the things up and make sure we don't look too ghostly. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we are done with our look. So, based on first impressions, I think this is a lovely bronzer. Uh, medium definitely will give you a really nice bronzy warmth. To your skin which I like uh, would not be bad at having the light shade as well I think it would work beautifully for me of course but this shade was pretty good also and I'm pleased with it the formula is really really nice very blendable looks beautiful on the skin very smooth from what it seems like what it looks like it's very much like what it claims to do just glowy very skin like yet smoothing and pretty skin very much uh a lot of dimethicone within this one, so you're getting that like pore filling from it, which is nice on the outer part of the cheeks and like where you would bronze. I think that's a, a cool feature. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, the foundation from Rare Beauty, the or the Tinted Moisturizer rather, is quite light coverage. Uh, the formula is pretty though. It's very glowy. Kind of everything I like in a light coverage product is to me is a very easy everyday type of product to apply. Uh, you don't have to be so precise with it because it is quite light coverage. And yeah, it's nice. It is really a nice product so far. Uh, again, it's got the SPF in it, but I wouldn't use this as my sole SPF because 20 is not very high anyway. It's nice added perk though, and I think it's a pretty formula. Looks nice on the skin. Uh, very light coverage. It's mostly hid my redness. Um, but I can still see freckles and perfections through. Just things look a little more evened out, which I'm fine with. I, I like that in a product. So yeah, happy with that. I really like the Milani lipstick, of course, in the shade Tease. And of course, Gemini is a longtime favorite. So that is our look today. Very simple, easy type of makeup. Not a whole lot. Kind of a soft, everyday summer look for, you know, just out and about doing your thing and if you just want a little added oof that's where the lips come in and yeah I like it oh and the mascara it's just a mascara nothing to write home about not worth Armani prices but it's okay so yeah that is all for today I think that is everything huh yeah that's everything let me know down below what you think of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer do you think I need to go ahead and get the lighter shade too just to have 
I feel like I do. Have you picked up Gemini 2? Let me know. It's on. It's in my cart currently. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay safe. Stay spooky. Bye now.